Hi YouTube, this is Clive from MediaFix and today we're just going to look at a quick tutorial on how to get the Canon printer to work on OS X Yosemite which was released last week. Um, so let's begin. So first of all we need to remove all the existing software to reinstall a clean install of the software. So let's go to Finder and let's go to our library folder. If we go into our library folder and then find printers, so let's scroll down to printers, we can maybe make this a bit bigger, and then go into um, Canon folder and BJ printer, this folder here, send that to the trash. Gone. Now we move back and let's go to the library folder again, and this time we're looking for the receipts folder. So let's open up the receipts folder, where are you? Here we are. And we can see in here that we need to look for anything that's related to our printer. Any Canon files that we can see, uh, there doesn't seem to be in here, in here, any in here at the moment. So we can leave this um, how it is. If there is a folder in here called Canon Printer Driver, then do not delete that that folder. But anything else related to Canon, remove it. So this one's okay. There's nothing there. Now if we go back out and let's find Image Capture scroll up to image capture and twain data sources this folder here we need to open up and canon mp600 let's remove that that's the name of my canon you most probably have the name of your canon in there if it's related to another printer let's go back out um, and let's open up the application folder if you have the canon folder inside the canon folder should be something called mp navigator i believe i removed it already so it's not here we can go into utilities, it's not in here either. Yeah, so I've removed it already. So if you find the Canon folder, Canon utilities folder, inside there should be MP Navigator. Remove that as well. Then what we need to do is restart your computer. So I'm going to pause this video as a restart. So now that we have restarted the computer, we need to re-download the, the software for, the, compute, for, the, for the, the driver, for the printer. So if we open up Google Chrome, which is what I tend to use, and we're going to go to usa.canon.qsa.com forward slash support forward slash consumer so that's usa.canon.com forward slash c-u-s-a forward slash support forward slash consumer click on that and we're going to enter your enter your model number mine is a canon mp600 with the pixma mp600 click go and we're going to hit on the driver and software tab scroll down and we're going to look for drivers. Now it says there is no driver for the X version selected, so Yosemite doesn't actually have a version of this software. So what you need to do is go back two steps, and let's go to Mountain, let's go to Lion. And as we can see, there's two for the Lion, MP Cupus Printer Driver and the Scanner Driver. So we're going to download both of them. Download one. Done download to okay let's close this and now we're gonna install both of them here we go let's open up in this tab printer driver let's open this one up first continue Continue, agree, let's install this, put my password in, let's close that and let's do the secondary one now, and close this one and then a scan gear, continue, And it's going to ask us to restart again. So let's restart. Now, when we we finally restarted for a second time, I want us to go back onto the internet, and we're going to go back to that website, usa.canon.com. So once we get back on this, I want I want us to go to this website. I want to type in MP six hundred. There we go. And then under the drivers and software, 
I'm going to scroll down to the software this time. Go back to Lion MP Navigator is what we want to download. Let's download that. Wait for that to finish. We don't need to do the easy print one, but we need to do this one. So once that one's finished, let's in install MP Navigator. We'll install this. And it's going to ask us to restart again once this finishes. So we start a third time. So once that's done, our printer should be active. So if we go to system preferences again, and we go into printers and scanners, it says can MP600 is ready to go. So now let's try and print something. Uh, I like my de my desktop back background, so let's just open that up in preview. File print, it's reading it, send it to the printer. And as you can hear in the background, my print is beginning to print it. Thank you for listening to this tutorial. This is Clive from MediaFix. Look forward to speaking and hearing from you soon. Bye.